Uh, in your opinion, what more could the U.S. be doing to help these refugees? Well, there's a lot, you know, Mehdi, that we can be doing. First of all, I think recently it was just kind of um, uh, made some some news headlines, um, at least amongst people that are paying attention to what's going on in Afghanistan, that, that the United States collected $20 million in humanitarian parole application fees and have only approved 123 of those uh, applications out, out of 66,000. Now, Ukrainian refugees don't have a fee to pay. So Afghans are paying $20 million. And we have to remember also that these are uh, American allies. The majority of them put their lives on the line to assist the U.S. occupation of Afghanistan for the last 20 years, and their paperwork to get into the United States has been held up. I remember a year ago having these conversations with various senators and Congress people about waiving the humanitarian parole fee, and everybody saying that was the priority for them, and clearly now we're seeing $20 million later. That didn't happen. There's also an Afghan American Adjustment Act that's going on in Congress right now. It's a bipartisan bill where Afghans, you know, the United States, I think we've got about 76,000 Afghan refugees that came here uh, a year ago that have now made America their home, large in part to their neighbors, the, the communities within the United States that have stood up and reached out and helped um, welcome all of these refugees into their communities. Um, their status is temporary. We have to figure out a way to yeah. provide them with permanent status. And that's something that we have to push Congress to do. You know, these are the things that we witnessed happened a year ago, all of us. It's not the war yeah. when, when we escaped. We didn't see what happened then. And this time we saw people clinging to the side of airplanes. We saw people throwing their babies over yes. barbed wire cages and losing them because they needed to get away from what is happening now, which is the Taliban's occupation of Afghanistan. And so there is so much I'm more that they could be doing.